Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss how to write chapter 2 uh, method. This is um, a continuation, actually part 3 na ito, ng discussion on how to write chapter 2 met method or methodology. We have already di um, discussed how to write research design, yung research local, at saka yung population and sample. Now, this time, after ng population and sample, um, is the research instrument, and that's going to be about it. So this video um, will teach you how to write your um, the research instrument part of your chapter two or your method part ng research paper. Okay, so punta na tayo directly sa um, research instrument o yung um, sa quantitative research, uh, specifically on correlational uh, survey research. Uh, gagamit tayo ng research instrument which is questionnaire. Okay? So, yung research instrument ang uh, sa part ng uh, writing the research paper, yung first paragraph is the description of the instrument to be used. So, to be used to measure the level of the first variable. Okay? So, tandaan yung first paragraph is about the instrument used for your first variable. So, this includes how many parts the questionnaire has and from whom it is adapted. So, take note of the word adapted. Meaning, because sa atin, for senior high school, um, of course, hindi pa tayo pwedeng mag-produce no, ng sariling um, questionnaire because um, gawa, gawa yan or uh, that's a skill for um, expected skill for masters and um, doctors, okay, um, in, in a specific field or discipline. So, sa senior high school, we are going to adapt questionnaires. So, when we say adapted with letter A yan, A-D-A, -A, uh, iba ito sa A-D-O. So, when we say adopted, meaning yung questionnaire ginamit natin without any changes without any modifications but when we say adapted so we based or we we use the questionnaires and we make some changes necessary changes to the questionnaire so we modify it a bit and we contextualize uh, the the questionnaire or we modify the questionnaire to contextualize the school setting okay the school setting or on the the, the company setting Okay, so um, ilang parts ba yung questionnaire? May uh, isang part lang ba siya? May two parts? May three parts? So sa atin, uh, we are going to use a questionnaire that has two parts. No? For a first part for the first variable and the second part is to measure the second variable. Mention also the original questionnaire will be modified to contextualize the school setting, ito yung sabi ko kanina, yung questionnaire, um, gagamitin natin yung original questionnaire, pero, um, ano siya, we make changes, little changes or little modifications to contextualize the school setting, and the question items will be simplified or, kung necessary, will be translated to the vernacular language for the understanding of the respondents, kung necessary. Pero kung hindi naman kailangan i-translate into vernacular, uh, kagaya sa atin, we ang, kung, kung um, high school students or senior high school students, of course, they understand English. Okay? So, no need to un translate na to vernacular. So, this will be followed by the range of means to be used for the first variable. Ano yung range of means? Okay, so mamaya, papakita ko yung sample. The second paragraph, so una yan ha, first paragraph, and then range of means, and then the second paragraph. Now, the second paragraph is the description of the instrument to be used for the variable 2. It follows the same flow of discussion as your first variable. So, pareho lang yung flow nila, no? So, this will also be followed by the range of means to be used to measure the, um, to, to interpret uh, the second variable. So, in the last paragraph, kung uh, meron pang last paragraph, actually, ito hindi sa last paragraph. Towards, uh, you know, the, the last sentence in each paragraph, um, I mention yun na, uh, no, not the last sentence, but the last sentence in the second paragraph, okay? Um, I mention yun that 
uh, the instrument or the, re the the questionnaire was subjected for dry run. So, nagkaroon ng pilot testing. And um, kinuha nyo yung Cronbach alpha value. So, and then uh, vinalidate by experts. Of course, there is a questionnaire validation by experts with an external validator. So, you also have to state the overall validation rating. Okay, so mamaya papakita ko ang example. For the range of means, ito yung i-follow natin na range of means. We start at 1.0 to 1.79. This is very low. Ang rating nito, ang description nito is very low. 1.8 to 2.59, that's um, low level. 2.6 to 3.39, that's moderate. 3.4 to 4.19, that's high, and 4.2 or 4.20 to 5.0, that's very high, okay? So, let's have an example. So, this is taken from um, my thesis, okay, my research paper. So, this is about school climate and mathematical dispositions. Um, yun, uh, this is a subtitle or subtopic, so research instrument, hindi ito naka-indent. So, this is the paragraph, naka-indent yan. The survey questionnaire used as an instrument in the study was composed of two parts. So, ito na ngayon, sumasagot na how many parts yung questionnaire. So, two parts. Ano yung first part? Ano yung second part? So, explain yan. The first part was adapted, letter A. Meaning, nag-modify ng konti, contextualize the school setting. So, the first part was adapted from Student Connection Survey. Ito yung title ng questionnaire na ginamit ko. So, this is the title of the questionnaire that I downloaded, okay, from a study. So, which was collaboratively developed by the American Institutes of Research. This is a small background um, uh, of, of the questionnaire that I used in the study, so, which was collab collaboratively developed by the American Institutes of Research in a large urban public school district in the United States of America. SCS was composed of four indicators, so andito na yung mga indicators na nandun sa questionnaire, so namely safety, expectations, support, and peer social climate. Again, naka-italicized or naka-italics ang mga indicators. And of course, ilagay dyan yung source ng questionnaire. The survey questionnaire had 39 items. So, yung 39 items, five, ang 39 items para lang dito sa first variable, ha? The first part. Oh, the first part. Para lang, uh, yung 39 atoms para lang sa first part. A five-point like uh, Likert scale. So, ito yung gagamitin din natin sa, sa research ninyo. Gagamit tayo ng Likert scale. Yung mga level 1, level 2, level 3. Yung mga 1 to 5. Yan ang tinatawag na five-point Likert scale. Meron ding uh, four-point. Yung 1 to 4 lang, meron ding 1 to 6, 1 to 7, okay? Pero sa ating gagamitin natin yung 5-point Likert scale. So, a 5-point Likert scale was utilized in scoring each of the items which range from strongly disagree to strongly agree. So, ito yun ha. So, lahat tayo strongly agree. Meron tayong um, statement and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yung, fa yung 1 that strongly disagree. Yung five that strongly agree, okay? The original questionnaire was modified to contextualize the school setting. The modified questionnaire was validated by experts and pilot testing was conducted which resulted to an alpha coefficient of 0.919 suggesting that the items had relatively high consistency. So, etong part na ito, um, eto given na ito eh. Uh, pag nag-conduct tayo ng, pag nag kayo ng um, survey, pag nag kayo ng research ninyo, yung questionnaire ninyo, ipapilot test talaga natin. Okay? And ipapavalidate natin sa experts. So, ang gagawin nyo, since uh, parang, uh, parang hi hi pag hindi nyo pa na-conduct, so, um, I-blank nyo muna ito, itong 0.919, kasi um, we have not validated it yet, okay? 
So, hindi pa tayo nakapag-pilot test. So, i-blank lang muna. Pero itong part na ito, andun na dapat sa research paper, ha? So, kapag uh, tapos na ng pilot test and andyan na ang, ang alpha value, Cronbach alpha value, so, uh, saka na natin ilalagay kung anong value. So, as of now, i-blank muna. So, yung uh, alpha coefficient na 0.919, it suggests that uh, the items are relatively high, uh, co highly consistent. So, suggesting that the items had relatively high consistency. So, the following range of means was used in describing the level of a school climate. So, ano yung range of means? Diba? First paragraph yan, followed by the range of means. So, yung range of means, yun ang gagamitin natin to interpret the... the 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 level or the values ha huh? means yan di ba familiar kayo ng mean median mode o oh. at yung mean okay arithmetic mean so we have here so of course uunahin talaga natin yung highest so that's 4.20 to 5 Ma'am, saan natin kukunin yung value na yan it's it's fixed ha huh? given na ito given so Diba, 1.1.79 yung na-discuss natin kanina. And then, 1.8 to 2.59. So, ito yung highest na sa pinaka uh, una. Right? So, that's very high. This is high. This is moderate. This is low. This is very low. Kapag ka ganito, paano natin siya i-interpret? So, ito yung basihan natin ng interpretations. So, dito tayo sa baba mauna. Kapag ka very low, this means that your variable your variable is never manifested, okay? So, kung ano man yung variable, let's say, um, social media addiction. So, this means that, if this is very low, this means that social media addiction is never manifested, okay? So, kung ano man yung variable uh, na ginamit nyo for this, so, ilalagay nyo dito, right? So, kapag ka low, this means that your, uh, your variable is seldom manifested, so, pareho lang ng ano yan, ng pattern. So, ang nag-change lang yung frequency. So, kung very low, never. Kung low, seldom. Um, kung moderate, that some, sometimes. Kung high, oftentimes. And very high, that's always. Okay? In table format ito, kaya lang wala tayong mga lines. Ha? Walang mga lines. The second part of the survey, ito naman yung second paragraph na natin about the second variable. Okay. The second part of the survey was the mathematical disposition survey or MDS which pertained to the mathematical dispositions of grade 10 students adapted from Kizonzo 2008. So, ito na yung source, pwedeng ganito, source ng uh, second part ng questionnaire. So, it was composed of, um, as you have noticed, di ba, uh, pinadownload kayo ng dalawang questionnaire. First questionnaire is for the first variable. The second questionnaire is for the second variable. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, kapag kayo nang nag-conduct at gumawa na tayo ng uh, questionnaire for your study, i-combine natin yung dalawa. Kaya nga, sinabi na ang, ang questionnaire ninyo is composed of two parts. Kasi yung isang questionnaire, May dalawang parts, yung first part for your first variable and the second part for your second variable. Okay? So, gaya nito, yung second part is composed of 26 items para sa second part lang ito, ha? Sa second variable. So, 26 items. That measured the seven constructs. Constructs, um, other term for that is indicator or determinants. Okay? Namely, confidence. Again, naka-italics. Ano? Naka-italics sa mga indicators. Confidence, interests, perseverance, flexibility, metacognition, metacognition, appreciation, and usefulness. The original, kung hindi nyo naman nilagay dito yung source, pwede dito ilagay yung source na ka parenthesis. Okay? The original questionnaire was modified to contextualize the school setting. So, each item was scored using a 5-point Likert scale, which ranged from strongly disagree to strongly agree. As you have noticed, pareho lang talaga ang flow nito dun sa first variable. Just as the first part, the modified questionnaire was also validated by experts and pilot-tested 
and pilot tested with an alpha coefficient of 0.963 which implied that the items had relatively high internal consistency. So, pareho lang talaga ang flow, no? May, may ano lang siya, may inibang parang paraphrasing lang. Okay? Next nito yung range of means. Right, so the following range of means was used in describing the level of mathematical dispositions of the grade 10 students. So, range of means, pareho lang din yan. So, ayan, from 1 to 1.79, okay, hanggang sa 4.20 to 5. Descriptive levels, ganun pa rin. So, if uh, 1 to 1.79, that's very low. And then, low, moderate, high, at saka very high, ito siya. And uh, for the interpretation, uh, kagaya lang din dun sa una, kaya na, ang nag-iba lang yung variable na dito. Kasi nung kanina school climate, ngayon yung second variable, mathematical disposition. So, uh, kung ang level ay very low, so this means that mathematical disposition is never manifested. Um, yung low naman, uh, seldom manifested kung moderate that's sometimes manifested kung high oftentimes manifested kung very high that's always manifested um, may mga variables naman na hindi siya na mag nagmamanifest hindi siya nakikita uh, hindi siya nagsho-show so ang um, ginagamit um, you, you may use the word felt f e l t okay felt instead of the word manifested Okay. Um, this is another example. You can uh, pause this video and read through the example. Uh, this is taken from uh, Sumampong et al. Okay. So, this is on uh, social media addiction and um, second variable nila is buying behavior. Ito yung range of means. So, as you can see here, yung 1, point, uh, 1 to 1.79. So, this means that social media addiction is never manifested. Yung 4.20, oh, ayan, never, seldom, sometimes, oftentimes, always. Okay. Ito yung second paragraph nila. And uh, yung range of means ng uh, second variable. So, para lang yung second variable nila is buying behavior. So, yung very low, this means that buying behavior is never manifested. So, yan.